What's up, you guys? It's me, so Classic, and this is gonna be a Get Ready With Me. Almost made you love me. Almost made you cry. Almost made you happy, babe. Didn't I deny? You almost had me thinking. So I've already done my eyebrows with my Absolute New York brow pencil, and I've concealed underneath with my Fenty Beauty concealer which i'm running out of honey i'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna buy some more anytime soon girl because it's kind of expensive rihanna girl like it's kind of it's not cheap so today i want to talk about like the changing of the seasons and um just like a little bit on mental health and things like that because you know i know i've seen a lot on social media about mental health and um specifically with summer walker and her anxiety and I don't know, it kind of made me a little bit empathetic towards the situation because I deal with anxiety. And um, it's something that I don't think I've actually talked about on my channel before. <sighs> because, like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like you don't want people to know everything about you, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's, like, a bad thing. Obviously, if I could make it go away, I think that I would. But I'm talking about it because, like, I'm sure that other people deal with it, too. And I'm just, like, freaking be anxious and sad together it's interesting because like i think that there's a lot of rhetoric around the whole aspect of okay so you have social anxiety but you're always posting on instagram and you know you go out and stuff like that and it's just like if you deal with anxiety then you know like sometimes you have like these like good days and you have like these good periods of time where, like everything is cool and then you have other times where you just like are anxious and you just feel like something bad is gonna happen like and when you're in a space with like a bunch of people, like you just feel like something bad is about to happen. Something is about to happen. Something bad is gonna happen. Like it's just like overthinking and the constant worry of nothing almost. And it's really difficult to explain. I'm sure that probably some people that probably didn't even make any sense what I just said. This is my LA Girl concealer and toffee, and I just color corrected with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. And ironically, like today, I'm having one of those days. Like today, I'm having a day where I just don't really feel like super up to par. I didn't sleep the best last night, but lately I've just been feeling kind of off, you know? Um, because some days I do have those anxious days where I'm just like, what, you know, what's going on? Like, is something gonna happen, you know? I think I've experienced a lot of change in the past eight months. I've experienced a lot of change in regards to like graduating and finishing school in regards to moving back to the city, in regards to my friendship group and my circle of friends, like, is very different. And, you know, I, it's just a lot of change going on. And sometimes I get anxious because I'm just like, I feel like I need more. I feel like there should be more change, like personal change with me and the things that I'm doing. And I feel like sometimes I'm just hard on myself because the world is going to be harder but it gets to be a little too much I think sometimes and then I start worrying and feeling anxious like I am now but in order to pull myself out of that I try to go and do things and just be like productive like that's why I'm always working out and stuff because if I don't like I'll just be sitting around in my thoughts and you know like I don't oh my god that was a lot I don't really I don't really want that so I recently just like talked to this gentleman who is he's like I think he's 32 he's a really nice guy he was like this older Indian guy and you know I don't even know how we got had like we got into having this discussion but basically like you know he's talking about like his business and stuff and you know the fact that he has a kid now and just like where he wants to be by the age of like 35 and 40 and stuff like that and he basically was just telling me like you whatever you want to do like whatever that thing is that you've been like playing with that you haven't really been serious about like do it go for it your dreams go for it because time does fly that fast and you're gonna blink and you're gonna look up and you're gonna be 25 you're gonna be 28 you're gonna be 30 you're gonna be 34 you're gonna sit there and think what have i accomplished why did i wait this long to do this and i don't think he was saying it to scare me i think he was saying it just to like let me know like if you have like misconceptions about the way time works like here's some reassurance that it really does go like this it really does like speed by like that 
and I felt that before but I wasn't quite sure and it was so random that he brought that up because I didn't ask him about that like I didn't you know like he just started talking about it and I feel like since that conversation I've just been like a little bit more like okay what am I doing like what's next you know what I'm saying I think part of that anxiety stems for the fact that I have high expectations for myself but I think other people have high expectations for me too and specifically some of you probably I think have good expectations for me and you know I just don't want to like not meet them you know like I don't want to like I feel like I might be being so dramatic right now I don't know I guess in regards to the whole anxiety thing I don't think my anxiety is like severe enough to the point where you know I would go you know seek medical help I, I guess I just try to deal with it like in like holistic ways and stuff because sometimes when it comes to mental health I get like I get like caught up in the argument of okay obviously some things do need medical attention but before like modern medicine existed I'm sure people dealt with anxiety and I'm sure that they figured out how to deal with it and they had like you know ways of like managing you know their triggers and stuff like that so obviously there's other outside contributing factors like I'm sure like things like food sleep I know all that stuff plays a role and I can't say that like I'm the most responsible when it comes to ensuring that I am getting nine hours of sleep every night or you know like so I want to make sure that I address all those other aspects of my life first this is a very natural beat I'm actually going to meet this girl who I got connected with through um, social media through Instagram and she's really sweet actually um, she actually hit me up because of the video I posted where I was talking about um, like you're too femme or guys using that saying that you're too feminine in the gay community and she is a member of the queer community herself and so she thought that video was very interesting she was like I love your perspective we should meet up in dialogue which I thought was really cool because I'm always you know open to having thought-provoking conversations with like-minded individuals but that brings me to say like because of my like anxious anxious feelings and anxiety lately like I just have I feel really anxious about like making new friends and I think part of it is because of like I said my friends my circle of friends has changed so much that I'm just like you know what is the point of making new friends like I have my I have I have friends I have my staple ones what's the point you know what's the point and that's not a good way to be that's not a good way to be so I, I try to like shake out of that but I just feel anxious like I just get anxious like oh what are you gonna do are you gonna do are you gonna like backdoor me are you gonna talk right behind my back are you jealous of me are you gonna like hate on me are you gonna make up something some kind of lie about me are you gonna act like you're my friend and then you're really not like I'm, I'm thinking those things in the back of my mind because of things that have already happened and I don't know I guess I'm trying to shake that because baggage is not cute. Obviously, you want to take things that you've experienced in the past and apply them to your future so you don't make the same mistake. But, like, baggage and stuff like that is not a good look. Ooh, that's way too much. Uh, way too much. <laughs> that was way too much that I just put on just now. But it's okay. That's all right. That's okay. We're going to blend it out anyway. But I've written about this in my blog before, but I guess lately I just feel like I'm in like an in-between stage. You know, like I feel like I'm in an in-between, like I'm in between two great things. You know, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm like almost to like whatever the next mission is that I'm supposed to complete or the next big thing I'm supposed to do, but I have no idea what it is. I have no idea how I'm, how I'm going to do it. And I, that's, that's, that is like summed up what I'm feeling right now in this moment today. Like that's, it's all culminating today and just like, you know, and it's weighing me down, man. But I'm trying to like get up out of this vibe because there's stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? Like there's stuff to do when it comes to like my YouTube and stuff. This is something I'm passionate about. This is something I want to do. But sometimes I don't always have the support that would be as helpful, you know, or like motivating. And I used to have people that would tell me like, oh yeah, you got to get back on your YouTube and you got to start making your videos again and da 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 And 
it's so wild because it's like when I started, when I actually started doing it and when I actually followed, finally took their advice and stopped being hard headed and procrastinating, those people disappeared. Like they actually, it's like they were happy for me up until the point that I actually started doing the things that they were telling me to do. Like, it's like they were cheering for me up until the point where I started like actually doing what I was supposed to be doing. And then it's like, now it's quiet. And like, I have support, but it's just like, there are people who used to, literally, I could, people who used to tell me, oh, I want you to do your YouTube and you, you, you gotta do your YouTube and you gotta do this. And it's like, now that I'm doing it, like you guys, like they don't, they don't, they don't help. Like they don't. They no longer support anymore. They actually don't even talk to me anymore. And I just think that's so weird. And the timing of it is so weird. And I know that all things are necessary. And all things work together for the good. But, like, when you, when you like, look at the end of the book. And you fast forward. And you read everything. And you see everything's supposed to turn out. All things do work together for the good. They do. Whether you can see it right now or not. So that's why it doesn't really, like, drive me insane. But I do think about it sometimes. Because I'm just like, hmm. You know, like, that's interesting. I'm sure, I know that all of you have your own individual, like, dreams and aspirations and things that you're doing, okay? Like, what am I going to have to sacrifice to get to the next step? Like, before when I was just talking about, like, how I feel like I'm in the in-between and like how I feel like I'm like I'm about to do it's like something good something's about to happen like something good something hopefully good hopefully like progressive in my life but I don't really know what it is I sometimes I sit and wonder like okay what am I gonna have to sacrifice to get there like is it is, is it the friends that I was just talking about is it the people that I thought were gonna be here that aren't here like is it is it that is that part of it is it like like what is it you know and I just overthink. I think, like, as you can gather, <laughs> I overthink a lot. And, um, darling, I was going to say it's a blessing and a curse, but I don't really see, like, <laughs> the benefit. But I'm not complaining to the Lord. It could be, like, I could be doing something much worse than overthinking. But, yeah, I don't know, guys. What I will say is that I'm so appreciative and grateful for, like, for like the support I receive here on YouTube because like sometimes I like go and read your guys' comments. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm doing something right. <laughs> I'm doing something right. Like keep going, like don't don't trip, like don't don't lose it, don't fall off. Like you're doing something right, girl. You're doing something right. Don't start selling drugs. You know what I'm saying? Don't start like <laughs> girl, like you're 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know I didn't put on any eyeshadow primer, but it's fine because some like I feel like sometimes when I put on eyeshadow, I'm not actually going for an eyeshadow look. I'm going for like that slightly sleepy look, like how it's just a little like those dark circles, just a little bit, and it's kind of just like is she rested? And then it's like okay, whether she is or not, she looks fabulous, <laughs> you know. So. <laughs> Also lately, like I've been having this feeling where like I'll be on Instagram or Twitter, like scrolling, and I just set my phone down and have like this, like this panging, like this pang in the middle of my like brain, and I'm just social media is literally frying my frying my brains. Like it's turning, it's literally turning my brains into angel hair pasta. Like sometimes I'm just like, whoa, I'm spending way too much time on this. Like just mindlessly, aimlessly scrolling. You know, I started reading again, which. I used to do a lot when I was very young. I'm reading Grey's, um, uh, the Fifty Shades of Grey tr trilogy right now. And I think I should have been finished the book. I really should have been finished it. But I'm telling you guys, like, it's social media. Like, it really does, like, you know, like, it, like, you'd be surprised how much time you spend on there just aimlessly scrolling. And I think that that also, like, in some way probably contributes to like my anxiety and me feeling anxious like staring at this computer screen off like I really I really do think that like, I remember growing up when like we didn't have all this social media craze and I just remember like there was just like a certain kind of like peace that I used to feel I think you know that I don't necessarily feel anymore I don't know if it's Instagram or it could be the protein shake I drank this morning I do think it's Instagram though, and probably a little bit of the protein shake too. I really try to use moisturizing lip glosses because if they're not, like they literally would just dry your lips out, you know? 
now that I have it on, like, I should have did a little bit of, like, brown lip liner. I don't know. It's just my go-to. Like, I can't, I can't, I cannot get enough. I cannot get enough of the brown lip liner, okay? I broke my fan, y'all. I used to love this fan. And I broke it because I want to act like a clown. Okay, so that's my finished makeup look. It literally looks like I'm not wearing any makeup at all except for my eyebrows, but that's fine because that's my <laughs> that's my vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my outfit and then I'll come back and we'll wrap this up, okay? Okay, you guys, so I'm back and this is my finished look. I am wearing all black and I added my little beauty marks that I always do. Um, I'm getting ready to go because I am running super late, but this is my finished look. I'm wearing this. I have like these black pants and this is just very like, anxious <laughs> so um yeah this is what i'm wearing today and thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all my new subscribers before we leave okay make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you hit the subscribe button please subscribe 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 turn the notification bell on that's a new one okay and please also check me out on instagram at some classic and check out my fashion lifestyle blog www.someclassic.org thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video